So I, I did that case, and then I did the furniture, Times Furniture Company. I don't know if you, you're not old enough to remember it. It was a great big furniture company that was a block long, covered a block. And they ripped people off in the community all the time. They sold a bedroom set to a girl who lived in Nixon Garden. And she sat on the mattress and the sprain broke and cut the artery in the back of her leg. She almost died because she almost bled to death. And when her husband went over and told them this mattress was no good and it cut me, they said, that's your problem. So uh, uh, the girl called me from downtown, Cynthia. She called me and she said, will you work this case? I said, yeah, I'll work it. Because I was just tired of people ripping people off in the projects and in the community. So I went to the store and I worked the case. And uh, I said, I'm interested, you know, and this, they'd have, they had a bedroom set in the paper, $99 for a bedroom set. When I got there and I said, I want to see the bedroom set for $99, he said, we don't have no bedroom set for that. That's just for advertisement purposes. I said, oh, really? Okay. Then tell me what it would cost to buy the set. And just put it on your card for me. I want to talk to my husband. <laughs> He was crazy enough to put it all down on the card. And when he got through, I had four civil and five criminal charges against him. And I told the city attorney, we've got him. So they filed. And then they started following me and harassing me. Oh, they were trying to find out. Because once they filed it, my name became public and they knew who I was. <laughs> But CLAPD worked with me, and they said, just go on about your business. If, you, if they're following you again, just call us. Let us know where you are. So they got the guy, and he said, well, I was just trying to serve her with a subpoena, you know, that, that kind of thing. But anyway, it went to court. And with the four criminal and five civil charges, they uh, entered a plea of no contest. And that meant they could not advertise. They, all of the restrictions that they had violated, they couldn't. So after that, Mayor Bradley knew about these cases and knew I, and he said, you know, I want you on this Board of Commission because you'll make some changes. What year was that in? That was in 80, must have been 83, 82 or 83. 82. 